Hello Internet! This is Jordan Wills showing off my 2015 holiday ornament. So this is our circuit board here. It's going to be on the bottom of the ornament. We have a Silicon Labs microcontroller that's going to be doing uh, some cap sensing. The bottom of this board is basically one giant cap sense pad. And we have a double EEPROM up here which we're going to use to store some audio files. The PWM module on this guy is going to send some output to our line buffer, which is going to boost the signal strength, send it through this LC filter, and to some speaker, or to a speaker that's attached to these two pads, which I've depopulated for demonstration purposes. Now the whole thing's powered off of two AAA batteries, and up along the top here we have four copper pads and some finger joint milling along the side. That's going to mate with the other sides of this guy. So these finger joints kind of lock together. A little bit of wire and solder will get us electrical connectivity throughout the cube. And we get an enclosure. Might look a little bit familiar. Uh, that cap sense pad on the bottom, we can press and hold to turn on our holiday ornament. Can then press the button, make some stuff light up, play a little bit of audio. Very fun. Up here we have a piece of acrylic that I have cut out into a very familiar shape. Done a little bit of etching on it. And I've sunk an LED inside it. This LED is getting signal from that microcontroller on the bottom. And uh, yeah, we can play some fun noise, play a little bit of a light show. So once I assembled this guy, I then uh, put some super glue on most of the sides to give it some structural integrity. But I still need a way to get into it to change out the batteries. So up at the top here, where those four pads were, they weren't being used for electrical connectivity on this side, they're just routed along the back there. Uh, so on the, f on the front here, I've used some of this solder wick on those pads to make a little hinge. So I can open it up. I've got some headers that I can use to send new audio files. I have a whole simple file system running on there. I've got the debug headers to uh, reprogram the microcontroller if I need to. And of course we can change out the batteries. And apparently I reverse biased one of my LEDs on there. Oops. Uh, but we can button that guy back up and with a little bit of work he'll lock back in place. And that's about it. That's my holiday project. Hope you all enjoy it. Um, again, it's using mostly Silicon Labs parts. Um, happy holidays.